Do you have a third party in your current 3D reality? Is your third party something along the lines of either an actual person or maybe your SP choosing to work too much? Is your third party work? Whatever you think is in the way between you and your specific person is a third party. And I'm going to tell you how to get rid of it. Hello, my fellow flawless, limitless, sexy, sassy, saucy HBICs. How are you on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? I hope you are all doing fabulous, and I hope you are all choosing to be the versions of yourselves that has exactly what you want to experience in your 3D, because that's all you ever need to do, is become aware of being that version of yourself and breaking free from the conditioning and the logical thinking of the 3D reality that you manifested. You're the boss. So to cut through my typical intro, if you would like to work with me in any way, shape or form, all of that information is in the drop box below. Where to find me is also in that drop box below. Okay, let's get to it. So yeah, we're talking about third parties today. And for some of you, Maybe you're not even aware that you have a third party, and I'm not trying to drop that limiting perspective on you, but if you feel that anything is in the way between you and your specific person, if you feel something is an obstacle, if you think your person's working too much and choosing to go do overtime instead of spending time with you, that's a third party. Anything that you see as an obstacle is a damn third party. And I know they're friggin' annoying. And I know it can feel really, really stressful when it's another person. When we feel like another person is a threat to us getting our love, right? The love of our lives. It can feel super stressful. But guess what? You're feeling super stressful because number one, your body is responding out of habit. And that's all it's really doing. And number two, you're believing in separation right now. You're believing that a friggin' heifer can get in the way of you and your person, okay? It's because you are aware of being the version of yourself that something or someone can take your specific person's, specific person's attention away from you. You're believing that it's possible. So we got to change that. We got to decide to be the versions of ourselves that, oh, hell no, you never put anything in front of me. I am your number one priority. It really is as simplistic as I'm saying. It's choosing to see yourself as being the version of yourself that knows that nothing is ever in the way. That your person only chooses you. Your person prioritizes you and only you. Now, listen, out of habit, I'm sure a couple of you just said to yourself, well, no, it's okay if, you know, I understand if they put this in front of me, that's okay. I understand you're being sweet in that moment and you're thinking kindness towards your specific person and that's amazing. But even in those moments, even though you're being sweet, you are giving in to your not good enough belief, even if you don't think you are, you are. And you don't have to do that anymore. That's the point of understanding that you are pure, unadulterated consciousness. You are God, universe, higher power, source, energy, fucking moonbeams, having a human 3D existence, experience through the version of you. And by version of you, I mean the version of you that you have selected for yourself. And listen, most of us aren't even aware that we purposely selected this version of ourselves. We've done it out of habit. We've done it from the habit, which came from the conditioning, the beliefs, the assumptions that we learned 
on our early days on this planet. But now you're breaking free of that. Now you're going to start realizing that every single thing that you have believed your entire life has come from somebody else's experience or somebody else's beliefs or somebody else's, you know, TV shows, movies, how your sister is in relationships, how your brother has a love in his life, how your parents got along. Maybe they weren't even together when you, uh, you know, were aware of your first early memories. Who knows? Who cares? There's no point in, you know, trying to dig through history and figure out, oh my God, where did this belief come from? I mean, if that feels good and that satisfies the curiosity you're having, go ahead and do it. The only thing that matters is that you become aware of, hey, I've been listening to this stupid belief. It's time to let it go. It's time to remember who I really am. I'm not this self that I have believed that I am my whole life. I'm not just this. I've been believing in a layer of ignorance. And everything we believe, even down to the subconscious mind, is a layer of ignorance. You are the absolute having a human experience. The absolute, a.k.a. The universe, God, the universal mind, whatever words feel good to you, that's who you truly are. And on a getting rid of a third party journey is that's our number one spot. Understanding who we are and from there, making a new decision. And whenever I say decision, I'm talking about who you're choosing to identify as. If you've got a third party in your current 3D, that third party has no power or control to do anything in your 3D world. You have just believed that you were a version of yourself that got kicked around in love. You got kicked around with maybe you've experienced people in your past cheating on you, hurting your feelings, abandoning you. You've been in a habit of believing that bullshit and it's time for you to take your power back. It's time for you to really understand and know that you're just consciousness. Your consciousness who has believed in this soap opera 3D existence of yours. So the trick to getting rid of a third party is not putting any focus on that dumb heifer. Not putting focus on, is your SP going to choose overtime over you this weekend? Not giving it attention. And that might not always be easy. So don't panic, okay? We don't control the thoughts that come into our mind. We do not control them. We are not bad manifestors or failed manifestors. If a negative thought or a thought about that third party pops into your mind, that's not your fault. Thoughts just come in. Thoughts just come in. No control. Literally, thoughts are like snowflakes. In a snowstorm, they're just coming from everywhere. Tinkle, 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 tinkle. I think I meant to say twinkle, but regardless, that's what thoughts are like. They're just swirling around and coming in in every direction. They're not your fault and they're nothing to be afraid of. And that's the second most important thing outside of being aware of who you really are, which is consciousness. It is understanding that you do not have to fear your thoughts. You don't have to be afraid of your thoughts. When you want to obliterate something right on out of reality, you want to remove your awareness of it. But a thought popping up in your mind about that thing that you're trying to drop your awareness from isn't an indicator that you're failing. It's just a thought you need to let float right on by. For some of us, it might feel good to say an affirmation in that moment, like, Oh, that bitch is out of my reality. I have nothing to fear. The only reason why they're in my current awareness is because I used to have a, a limited belief that I no longer have. That's who I used to be. Nothing to panic over. I just got to return to my decision of who I'm being aware of being now. I just have to return to my decision that I am my new self. New self is just the you who has what you want.
your desire, your manifestation. That's it. And I know the way I'm delivering this sounds like it's really easy. It's really simple. And that is because it is. It is. The internet and all the social media platforms is really saturated with manifestation content. And every single creator teaching it from their perspective. And unfortunately, some perspectives are still in what I would call lower levels of consciousness. So they are not aware that they themselves are the all-powerful absolute. Which is pure unadulterated consciousness. The all-knowing. The all-powerful. The all-only-ever-creating absolute. Consciousness, God, universe. That's all it is. So you may have heard someone else telling you to do A, B, and C to get rid of a third party. And if those things didn't feel good to you, then baby, drop it. Don't do it. Put your focus on being the you that has it. That's the only thing that matters. Knowing that your consciousness, knowing that you are the I am, God, universe, higher power, source entity, movies, that's who you are. And you're so damn powerful that when you keep putting your attention and focus or giving time in your mind of who you want to be and what you want your life to look like and what you want to experience with focus, you will then begin experiencing all of that in your reality. But we've all been conditioned to think differently. We've all been conditioned to think life just happens. We don't have a choice in life. We got to suck up and just enjoy what's given to us. That's the conditioning you're breaking free of. No heifer in the 3D Maybe they're currently with your specific person, but that is only happening because you used to believe in your limited self. So get into the new habit of understanding that you are the all-knowing absolute. And all you have to do is start seeing yourself as who you want to be. Whether you visualize a scene that means to you directly, I have my specific person. I'm in the most amazing, loving, fulfilling, committed relationship. And my person is committed to me and only me. That's who I am. Whatever scene implies that to you, that's good enough. Put your focus there. Maybe you like to affirm, affirm what I just said. But change the wording to what words feel good to you. Whatever or whoever you are aware of being is what is showing up in your world. But you see, our mind is so amazing. This amazing thing that we created has a tendency to want to keep us in our old reality, just out of habit. Just because our nervous system, our feelings, our emotions feel more natural in our old limited selves. And that's just because we sat there for a really long time. So of course it feels comfy. Of course it does. Of course it feels more normal to you to think that your SP can be a turd and choose someone over you or put something in front of you. It's just because that used to feel more safe to you out of habit. We don't have to go into all the intricacies of why that felt more natural and normal for you. None of that matters. That's more baggage to concern yourself with. I'm telling you, you can break free from everything by making a decision. Listen, when I first found manifestation, I would have never believed that was true. I would have thought, no, I must impress my subconscious mind. I must break through that barrier. But that's because that's where I was in consciousness. That's because I was still in that limited mind. I believed you had to impress subconscious. I believed how science backed up that side of manifestation. Until I got to the level of awareness and knowing that, wait a minute, everything we know and believe in this current 3D reality is conditioning. 
That's all it really is, is conditioning. Believing we have to follow the rules of every single thing from every other person or because science said so or because a doctor said so is because that's where we are in awareness, in consciousness, what we believe, what we trust, what we think is real because we've been in the habit of believing that when you start in repetition to place your awareness, place your focus on being the you that has your specific person in a loving, fulfilling, committed relationship or marriage, you will have it and things will begin unfolding in your reality to prove that to you. You have nothing to be afraid of. You have nothing to fear. A third party is nothing. Literally, the only things that you need to do to get rid of of a third party, whether it's a person, work, or anything you see in the way, is number one, know who you are, pure, unadulterated consciousness, God, universe, whatever words feel good to you, that that's who you really are. The third party has no manifestation ability in your reality, and neither does your specific person. So it's understanding no one has free will in your reality except for you. Just you. Little old, absolutely amazing you. Just you. Not third party. Not your specific person's employer. Not their family. Not their anybody else, friends, whatnot. Not your employer. Not your friends and family. No one but you. Most importantly, specific person. No one has free will in your reality. You're it. So you know your pure, unadulterated consciousness. You know no one in your reality has free will. And keep your awareness on being the you that has the relationship with your person. From moment to moment, you're choosing who you want to be. You might not be conscious that it's an actual decision you're making, but the thoughts you believe are making the decision for you. So you choose. You choose which thoughts are real, which thoughts are truth. You are deciding that. So a thought comes up about a third party? No, that's my old self. That's the manifestation of old self. That's not who I am anymore. I'm new self. That's literally all you need to do to get rid of a third party. I'm going to give you one more piece of advice, though. I understand that as we are choosing to be our new self, that that moment, that moment you make the decision, it is instant. You go to that reality instantaneously. But the reality around you might not look like you went anywhere. You might even get a phone call from a friend who lets you know that SP still has third party. That doesn't mean this hasn't worked. How you respond to that is indicating to you what reality you're in. So you get all upset, you get all triggered because you heard they're still together. You're being old self. You're back to that reality. Return to your decision to be new self. Say your affirmations, do your scripting, do your visualizing, do your inner conversations, whatever technique feels good to you that implies to you that you are new self in that new reality. And don't you worry about a damn thing. That third party will be gone. Don't get tripped up when reality is showing you something that doesn't actually look like you've got what you want. You're going to have it. It's just unfolding. It's just unfolding. So if you get that phone call that SP is still with third party, okay. So apparently somehow, some way, your stupid phone call, Mr. or Mrs. Friend, is a part of my bridge of incidents. I'm still in the reality where I get what I want. I'm getting my relationship. That's who I am. That's just who I am. And this has been my unfolding to it. That's all it is. But that really is all it is. The third party still being there doesn't imply what you've been doing, manifestation game-wise, has failed. Oh, no, 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 no. It doesn't fail. Manifestation is perfect. 
we are always experiencing our reflections of who we have been. Don't overthink that. Don't go too logically. Because I will tell you, a lot of people, if they had received that phone call from the friend saying, hey, bitch is still with your person. The first place they go is logical thinking. Oh my God, this hasn't worked. SP still with third party. Clearly I'm not new self. I must be in that reality still. No, if you're perceiving it that way, then yeah, you're in that reality. But if you're perceiving it, the way I responded to it, yeah, okay, clearly that's a part of my bridge of incidents because I know I'm new self and I know I'm in the reality where I get what I want. There's your answer. You're in that reality, the reality where you get it, where you get that relationship with your person. Your perception, how you're thinking and understanding things around your reality is telling you who you are. So when you're shitting yourself and you're worrying who are you being? When something in the 3D is bugging you, who are you being? We don't beat ourselves up because we get upset. That's okay. We're humans. It's going to happen. We just return to our decision. I just hit myself in the face. We just return to our decision to be new self. That's it. And that's all we ever need to do. Don't get wrapped up with the million different techniques in order to manifest we're really only ever just making a damn decision of who we identify as, period. That's all it really is. Don't get wrapped up in the logic, okay? So on that note, you want to kick a third party right on out of your reality? You want to kick a bitch right out of that reality? You want to kick the friggin' working overtime right out of your reality? You want to get anything that you see is in the way between you and your specific person manifestation? Choose to be the you that has exactly what you want. Put your focus on being that version of yourself. You're just taking your awareness off of third party and putting it on you getting what you want. I'm telling you, your life will change. Reality will change. It's not an option. It's an absolute truth. So who are you choosing to believe you are? If you're choosing to believe you're the one with the third party, you need to make a new decision immediately. And on that note... I'll see you tomorrow. Do you have a third party in your uh, current 3D reality? Back up, Kim. Do you have a 3D in your current 3D reality? Do you have a 3D? Back up, Kim.